YouTube, what's up, man? I'm back with Weekend League action. Getting physical, knocking the kids around, dominating. That's what we want. That's what we want to do. But this was a great game against Crippled Dave, an Eagles fan, has an Eagles themed team to an extent. I've always felt, man, if you're going to have an Eagles themed team, you can't have guys like Gronkowski and I believe he had Le'Veon Bell. I feel like if you're going to go out with a, with a whole theme team, you got to go all out. Man, if you want to watch these games live, man, hit the Twitch link below in the description. Also, follow me on the social medias. They're all there. I'm really trying to get my Instagram popping for the start of Man 20, so make sure you guys hit that link below, man. Any offense, defense, Special teams you want to see. You don't want to see that offensive play because it was a pick. But anything you like can be found on man turf as he high balls to Gronkowski, who's not an eagle, but it all is on his theme team. That's why I don't like, man. If you guys want to have a theme team, go all out. Especially the Eagles, you can have Zach Ertz as he high balls to Alshon Jeffrey. This guy was pretty much run the ball or pulse over the middle looking to high ball to somebody. That was pretty much his whole game plan. This was his little baby dot to Deshaun Jackson. As you see, Brian Dawkins touching him, holding him to three points right here. Gets the three to go up, man. I threw a pick, but he definitely uh, only got three, so that's okay. And what he was doing on defense was actually pretty good. Uh, he was running match, a cover four, but he would put his outside corners in deep halves. So his safeties would get real aggressive and start manning up on crossing routes and stuff. But he still had deep protection with the deep halves on his outside corners. Get a lot of pressure just standing in the pocket. I got to just take off right away there. I thought he would run by me. Just a great job coming down, sacking me. Next play brings the crib, but Julio Jones holds on to a slant in traffic. Uh, he's doing a loop thing. One thing, uh, obviously, if you guys have played this game, going for the cross around here, and he actually has, I believe that's Malcolm Jenkins swatting the ball from uh, Julio Jones. He does this loop if you guys have played any type of 4-3. 4-3 uh, or nickel over G where they crash out. And loop, and then the D and the D tackle just walks around the D end and gets your backfield. The best thing to do against this is run play action. Uh, one of the one of the uh, things that happens to me a lot when I get stuck in these is I break it a broken play right here to Vernon Davis. Bang, nice dot inside the ten. I get stuck running the play action play so much against this type of defense. Throw the ball underneath the Ricky Williams man, and he makes a play for me. So I run I run the uh, play action play so much against this defense. As I come to the draw play here to get inside the four, two-yard line, third and two. We're going to give it to Ricky, and he gets wrapped up by Richard Sherman way too easily. But like I said, man, I like running play action plays against this little glitchy shed defense. But it also hampers me because I'm kind of just stuck to the certain play action plays in my playbook. You know, as we see Derwin James stripping Deshaun Jackson on a kick return there. Uh, nice. He pops a little run right here with Le'Veon Bell. He could have, who, who would be the Eagles theme team running back? I assume LaShawn McCoy or LeGarrette Blunt, one of those guys. Uh, that's a trip tight end. There's this little baby dot again to Deshaun Jackson. Got to make your opponent show you all his best plays. Makes it able easier for you to play defense going down the stretch of a game. And then we see a little read option worked for him right there. Got inside the six. And, of course, high ball to Gronkowski. Way too easy right there. Uh, the high ball, nobody can really do nothing with Gronkowski catching it right there. 10 to 3. His offense is pretty much dump it off to Deshaun or high ball to somebody. Here we go. We see the little curl right there. Hit it with Vernon Davis. Get up. Get another another 5 plus yards. Got to get points here before half, man. He gets the ball at half, so getting points right here is really important. As I hit this comeback route, got to get out of bounds. Just save me a little bit of time. That's all. The clock will stop. First and 10 on the 42-yard line. Little man coverage. Going on top. Thought I had him burnt, man. Look, I'm five yards behind Derwin James, but that's that height, man. I tell you guys, 6'3", able to jump and go get that pass. Here we go. Going to get it. Bang. Here we go. We see Jamal Adams breaks the sack, but Lawrence Taylor cleans it up. Second and 14, another high ball. This one he overthrows. Third and 14, he goes for a little in route, and Cam Chancellor has to kill Deshaun Jackson right there. Kill him. Run right there. I crack him with uh, Derwin James. Next play goes play action. I thought I'd get more pressure. My guy actually bit on the play action, and he spins me right there. Had Dawkins try to kill him, maybe hopefully get a drop on that pass. But it was a little bit too late, and he was able to get the spin off, man. I, I knew he was going to spin, but I was hoping, man, I can get this hit stick before he gets control of his player and make him drop the pass. That was not the case. Hit this little out route to Vernon Davis. Now I definitely need to get points here before half. 11 seconds left, man. I got a big play. You see, I'm getting great pass protection against this when I run play action. 
Really nobody open. Going for a rack right here, but bang, over throw. Good throw right there. I might get a rack, rack egg animation. Uh, first, second, uh, second half, I'm feeling okay. First play, he throws a little toss right there. Yeah, and he's on aggressive pass block or run blocking. Another high ball right at my face. Like I said, it's pretty much throw this in route or throw a high ball. That's the offense. Here's the in route. Breaks a tackle. And, of course, the tackle animation makes me miss a hit stick. And he gets a little dump off to go, what? What is that? 85-yard in route to Deshaun Jackson off a broken tackle. My man Patrick Peterson, the one that missed that tackle. I know you guys know I gas up Pat Pete, but he definitely missed that tackle. Hitting a flat route over here to Vernon Davis. Got to take your flats. With all this match coverage, man, I got to keep things a little bit shorter. I know they can't guard. You pretty much got to start running routes that work versus man and routes that work versus zone high ball right there. You see the way I moved in the pocket right there, really to avoid that glitchy rush. When I don't run the play action play, I have to really you see it right there. I'm trying to run better zone beaters and better man beaters, but they're not play action, so they're giving me a lot of trouble. Go for the high ball here. To, oh, not even a high ball. Throw it over Sherman. Incomplete. Get me to a third and 18. Hit the wheel route over here to Randy Moss. Picking up some big yards right there. Making a manageable fourth and short. We're going to go with the flat route to Vernon. You didn't cover the, the flats on fourth and short. Able to pick that up, man. We're down by 21 points, man. Closing in on the end of the third quarter. We got to make a play here underneath to Julio Jones. That's what I'm talking about. Get out of bounds. I know it doesn't stop the clock, but it stops the clock in the huddle. If you stayed in bounds in these situations, the clock will run the whole time. But if you go out of bounds in the third quarter, you can definitely stay in the huddle and not uh, let the time drip. And when you're down 21 points in the game, you got to make this game last as long as possible. Little hitch right here to Vernon. I definitely have to score before the fourth quarter. Need that, and I'm running the ball. Really taking a lot of time here, but I need to score. I'm down 21. I need to get three touchdowns to stay back in this game. High ball, Calvin, corner route, touchdown, 21-10. to 10. This time he goes back to read option. Derwin James is having none of that. Down by 14, screaming at him again off the edge. Find this nickel normal on Madden turf. Next play, goes for the high ball. Sean Taylor got him putting right there in a the hook curl. Interception, six seconds left in the third quarter. We're going to try to get a big play here because the clock's going to stop regardless. On the run, throw it up to Calvin. Michael Vick, break a tackle inside the five. End of the third quarter. Down by 14, man. We're feeling really good. YouTube, all we got to do is get a score here. And, of course, first play, Calvin Johnson. Bang, bang, hit him up. Touchdown. Now we're down seven. That's what I'm talking about. Four minutes left. Plenty of game time left. Have to stop the run. Have to stop that little baby bullshit pass to Deshaun Jackson. That's what's been killing me. And I know that's just quick reads. It's either a high ball, but the first play, the first run, Le'Veon Bell gets out of there. I can't let him get in field goal range, man. That's going to make it a two-possession score again. Him catching that pass right there is huge because it's going to take another 30 off the clock. Goes for a high ball to Gronkowski. Jalen Ramsey, I put him in safety just for that reason. Breaks that up. Another scream. Swats it down. Sean Taylor right there. Fourth down. He goes to the owl route. Catches it right in front of Sean Taylor. Oh, my goodness. Now he can't get another yard. He puts LeGarrette Blunt in. That's what he wants. On a 42-yard line, he's going to milk a little bit. Getting at 42 would be a 52 would be a 59-yard field goal. I run commit here so he can't get another yard. Yep, 42, 59-yard field goal. Makes it kind of with ease. Kicking has always been too good at man. So now I'm back down 10. Have to score, and, and God willing, I can score without using a timeout. That'd be huge. I need all three of those to get the ball back. Long as I have my three timeouts, I, I don't need an onside kick. So every play, I would love to get out of bounds. That was such a big play in the middle of the field that I took it regardless. But now I have to get out of bounds with pretty much anything I want to throw. That's why I hit this little flat. If I can get five, six out of bounds, I'm cool. Just got eight yards, got out of bounds, stop the clock, catch your breath. That's what it's about. Next play, we'll hit this flat route. Try to run over Sherman. He tackles me, but that's okay. I'm back in field goal range. I need two scores. I'm going to take my three right now. I'm not trying to press it. This way I can save all three of my timeouts to get the ball back. That's the key in this situation. You need two scores. It doesn't matter when you get them, how you get them, as long as you get the two scores. Give yourself a chance, YouTube. This is what it's all about is giving yourself a chance. Get it down to about 40 seconds, man. I'll have all three of these timeouts. Now, I will kick this deep 100 times out of 100 because I have three timeouts. I can stop the clock, hopefully hopefully make him punt with 30 seconds left, and that, that, then I'll get the ball back and get some Hail Marys in an end zone pretty much. But he's got Deshaun Jackson, and he wants to make a play out of the end zone. But I have this guy named Weapon X, and he's going to get physical. Drops the ball, man. One of these assholes has to pick it up and run in for a touchdown. 
12 yard line, hardest spot to score in Madden. First play, going up top, Vernon, oh, doesn't come down with it. Next play, man, 31 seconds left. Going to hit the over here to Ricky Williams. Breaks it through a tackle. Ah, gets to the two-yard line. Doesn't get the first down. Third and inches. Man, I'm going to use a timeout. At 22 seconds left, I still want to be able to run. Going to the inside zone, and he blows it up. But Ricky fights for me. Have to use another timeout. Now I have a fourth down. I have one play.